Dear students, welcome to this recorded lecture about acute limb ischemia. I'm Dr. Ali Sabur, Professor of Vascular Surgery at Shams University. You are supposed to watch this lecture before attending the face-to-face -face session where more details about the clinical manifestations and management algorithm of acute ischemia will be discussed. By the end of this recorded lecture, you should be able to define acute ischemia, enumerate different causes of acute limb ischemia, describe the cardinal clinical findings in acute ischemia, and outline the urgent and the definitive management of acute limb ischemia. You will be able to use this knowledge to build upon for a more in-depth details in the face-to-face -face session. By definition, acute ischemia is sudden decrease in arterial limb perfusion, causing threat to limb viability. The word sudden is important because in chronic ischemia, as you will know later, the occlusion is gradual. The picture shows a foot and a hand with acute ischemia. You can easily notice the characteristic color, the blue color, the mottling. You can also expect that the limbs are cold. Acute limb ischemia can occur in a relatively healthy arterial tree. In this case, the obstruction is possibly caused by an embolus coming from elsewhere. On the other hand, if the artery is previously diseased, with atherosclerosis for example, the arteries have segments of marked narrowing, diseased entema, then the cause of arterial obstruction in this situation is usually acute thrombosis of the diseased arterial segments. So acute ischemia can be embolic or thrombotic. Another cause of acute ischemia is arterial trauma, which is beyond the scope of this session. However, trauma can result from direct stab to the artery, fracture of long bone related to an artery, a crush injury involving the limb and the blood vessels of the limb as well. The diagnosis and management of arterial trauma is beyond the scope of this presentation. It is important to differentiate between embolic and thrombotic ischemia because the management of embolic ischemia is different than the management of thrombotic ischemia. We will discuss this in details in the face-to-face -face session. The clinical picture of acute ischemia can be summarized in five P's. Pain, pulse absence, paresthesia, and paralysis. We can add another P for a persistently cold limb. More details about the clinical assessment of patients with acute limb ischemia will be discussed in your face-to-face -face session. Emergency treatment and resuscitation, if needed, should start once the clinical diagnosis is made. As a junior member of the health provider team, you will be responsible to initiate this emergency treatment. Look for the initial management and be ready to discuss these steps that you will be responsible to do in your face-to-face -face session. You should establish the degree of urgency by assessing the limb viability and decide whether this limb is 
irreversibly ischemic, needs urgent intervention, or needs prompt intervention after investigation. If ischemia is severe at the time of presentation, this may provide a narrow margin for any investigations to be ordered and performed. In the face-to-face -face session, we will discuss the clinical parameters that we use to establish the degree of urgency and the value of the investigations if they are needed. Now to the definitive treatment. Definitive treatment depends on the severity of ischemia and the assessment of limb viability. In a marginally threatened limb, you may decide to order an angiogram, a duplex, to determine the cause and the site of the disease. This can be followed by thrombolysis, angioplasty, arterial surgery, or a combination of any of these. In an immediately threatened limb, surgery to revascularize the limb is urgent. However, we should consider the risks of revascularization and we should manage its consequences. Those patients may need what we call tachotomy. In an irreversible ischemia, amputation is urgent. Please be ready with any questions in the face-to-face -face session. Thank you.